Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I've got a stenciling technique for you that creates a double fade. I'm going to start by securing my watercolor paper in place. This is 140 pound Fabriano Studio hot press paper. You will need either watercolor paper or Bristol, something that keeps ink on the surface of the paper and that can take a little water. Next, I'm going to position my stencil and I'm going to tape it so the tape can act like a hinge because it needs to be able to flip out of the way during some of my steps and also return back to the same place. You will need inks that react with water. They can be dye inks or distress. I've got a couple of distress oxide inks here and you'll need two colors, one darker than the other. So I'm going to start with my darker color, which is Abandoned Coral. I'm going to blend that from the top of my card to about a third of the way down the card, fading out around that point. With this second color, which is Spiced Marmalade, I want to blend up into the first color and then down to about the middle of the card and then I'm going to blend out a little more lightly below that point. Now I'm going to flip my stencil down and do a little stenciling with my second color to continue that color down into the open area. So when I'm done that solid color in the center there looks like it's breaking away into the stenciled pattern. I'm going to flip my stencil back down into place and get a paper towel ready. The next step is to lightly mist water into the upper area of the card where we did the ink blending before and then blot through the stencil to lift the reactivated ink away. And you don't want too much water there because it will seep under the stencil. Lift up the stencil and blot any water that might have snuck under the edges there. And as that dries, you should see a fade from dark to light in the background and light to dark in the stenciled pattern. Simple technique, but so many possible combinations of colors and stencils. I hope you'll try it out. Thank you so much for watching.